house. Just tell me about the first half of this team. How impressive have they been? I do have the best seat in the house, don't I? No, this, is, this has been great. Uh, my brother told me after the first week of the season, he said, you and John are like shot out of a cannon because the youth and the enthusiasm and the talent is just so remarkable, and this team is going to get a lot better, I think, in the second half. Well, let's talk about that. Put your GM hat on for a okay. second. What do you do if you're the Yankees? Well, they need either to bring up one of their own kids starting pitches or trade for somebody. I know you're not going to get Jacob DeGrom or Noah Syndergaard. It's not going to happen. But I think they've really got to be careful about bringing in somebody who's no better than what they've got in their own minor leagues. Um, if you want to bring in a lefty like a J-Hap, at least he knows the season. He understands the World Series. He understands what it is. And if you don't have to uh, give up too much, which I don't think you do, because that's a rental, then I'm all for it. I think they could make themselves better. If they just get a couple of veteran starting pitchers, um, I don't think it'll be in big name. It's always somebody that nobody thinks of with Brian Cashman. I remember the year, I remember 2000, and the offense was just stagnant. And all of a sudden, the door opened and in walked David Justice. Nobody knew anything about that. And there he was. Also, one of the years when he brought back Aaron Small and Sean Chacon. I mean, the team doesn't get as far as they do without those two. I'm expecting somebody like that. Talked about the Subway Series. You've been there since day one. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Do you still enjoy it? I, I do. I remember the first one, though, which I really loved. Um, it was, um, I remember Dave Malicki won for the Mets, and I was up there still working for WFAN as the beat reporter, and I watched him go to the mound and take a little bit of dirt and he was like in his skivvies after the game long after the game and I remember John Franco walking in from the bullpen and just looking around at the crowd and everybody yelling and screaming and you know people um, I could do without going to Miami and I could do without you know going to Phoenix for some reason but Yankees Mets uh, no when when people stop coming maybe they should change it but it, it's always going to work I think